we navigate the world following the COVID-19 pandemic, small businesses have suffered greatly, but other businesses were born during those very challenging times. Now, our next guest was one of those who started a business during the pandemic. Joining us to discuss is president of Enspra, Jesse Tate. Good morning, Jesse, and welcome to Wake Up America Weekend. Hi, good morning, Katrina. Thank you so much for having me on today. So happy you're with us. Uh, Enspra has an incredibly interesting origin, of course, born out of the pandemic and helping others after your home inspection business was shut down temporarily. How did this all come to be? Sure. So um, I am a workaholic, which is why I work <laughs> for myself. And um, being told that I had to stay inside for nine weeks did not really go over well for me. So I had to find something to do. Um, I did a lot of renovation and then I decided I needed to help my community and get out of the house for a bit. So I went to the local police department and offered to start um, sanitizing their vehicles for them. Well, that turned into one police station after another after another and it became a business. That's really exciting. And, and so uh, tell us a little bit more about the exact services Enspra provides. You gave a little bit uh, of an overview there. It's really, you're, you're doing a lot of sanitizing. Sure, so we started out in sanitizing for sure, and that was really where it all began. Uh, we have since moved into doing um, cleaning process auditing. So we use equipment and we do we test the surfaces after they've been cleaned, and we do that for mass transit and government to make sure that people that are using spaces and transportation are as safe as possible. Um, and then we also have a new product that we're getting ready to launch soon. Oh, that's exciting. Can you give us a little a little sneak peek or a little a little cool. hint? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> it's uh, using nanotechnology in order to protect the skin from viruses, bacteria. Uh, it's long lasting. It stays on through washes. And do you have a scientific background? This this sounds uh, very high tech to me. Uh, actually, I do not. I actually came from uh, more of the construction background, uh, but but microbiology has always been a little bit of a hobby of mine. Uh, I, I, I actually, microbiology I got... is my hobby. Some might say, you know, <laughs> scuba diving or <laughs> running. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Uh, I actually um, was on a plane uh, about 10 years ago and contracted a bacterial infection uh, while wearing shorts on an airplane. Wow. And that kind of sparked that. Um, for a while, I worked in senior health care. So the transmission of diseases on services was very, very important to me. And also, you are a self-described Air Force brat, and I know you grew up fourth-generation uh, military family uh, on different bases around the country. Now, did your yeah. military background, your family background, influence any of your passions for this company and for any part of your work? Oh, absolutely. You know, like like you said, you know, I'm fourth-generation military. I was in the Air Force myself. Um, and, you know, being able to protect the troops when they're overseas is very, very important. I know that, you know, you're already stressed when you're deployed and being able to be safer, um, have access to, you know, uh, a way to, to keep yourself safer while deployed is very, very near and dear to my heart. My grandfather was World War II vet. My uncles were Vietnam. Uh, you know, I come from a pretty, pretty long line there. And, and once again, going back to your company again, it, it, it was uh, formed during the pandemic, but also you were helping other people. I mean, I, I think, you know, behind your hobby for microbiology, you also had a passion for helping the community. Tell us a little bit about besides the fact that you needed to do something because you're a workaholic. Tell us about maybe how your, your passion for helping others really drove you to create this company. Absolutely. So many, many of my business owner friends had to shut down during the pandemic as well. And everybody was very worried about how they would open safely, how their you know clientele, how their workers were going to stay safe. So I researched and found the, uh, the nanotechnology um, disinfection and was able to bring that out of the hospitals and bring it into small businesses in my community, like hair salons, again, police stations, uh, daycare centers, schools. And so allow them to open safer so that they know they could go forward and move and, and make money uh, again once as well. The other thing that I started doing uh, was because of having worked in you know a healthcare setting in the past, I started doing homes for people that were immunocompromised because I could take this technology and help them to protect their homes and their vehicles along with the ones of their loved ones 
And so those that were going through chemotherapy or have had a um, maybe a transplant recently, mm -hmm. uh, it really helps to prevent them from getting the hospital readmissions. Wow. And uh I, I'm, so, I'm sorry to interrupt, Jesse. We're, we're out of time, but I just I'm so impressed by by what you've done and your your military background and your your uh, microbiology as a hobby, which is very impressive. And of course, now entrepreneur, business owner. Uh, congratulations on that, and thanks so much, Jesse, for sharing your story with us. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, we're going to be right back. You're watching Wake Up America Weekend only on Newsmax.